Shalom, friends. It is a truth universally acknowledged by K-dramas, vampire shows, and Doctor Who that immortality can be a bit of a downer. Our heroine, Sarah Bat Asher, knows all about that vibe because she, at this point, is 400 years old. Welcome to Jewish Lore Reactions, Sarah Bat Asher, the eldest elder. During all of that time, the Israelites had been enslaved in Egypt. Sarah alone remembers when she and the rest of Yaakov, Jacob's family, came there in the first place. And that means she's also the only one who remembers a very specific prophecy about the redemption. Yes, the Israelites were going to be enslaved. Yikes! But eventually God would take notice of them once again. Pakod yifkod etchem. But no timeline had actually been given for that rescue. Then one day, two brothers, Moses and Aaron, Moshe and Aharon, appear out of the desert like a mirage. They are claiming to speak in the name of God, demanding Pharaoh release the Israelites. That is a bold start, very confident. Some might say a little sketchy. I would say that had I been there. In addition to convincing Pharaoh, Moses also had to convince the Israelites themselves who had been through some shit. They were mm, rightly scared. Was he really sent by God to save them from servitude and infanticide? Was he the real deal, the OG problematic desert savior character upon which every single Paula, Trades, and Daenerys Targaryen is built? Great question. That's why the elders of the community go and speak to the eldest elder that they know, and that's Sarah, to basically run a background check on Moses, which is smart. They say to her, hey, there's this guy here. He says his name is Luke Skywalker, and he's here to rescue us. Is that true? Sarah sighs and says, I think you're going to get your hearts broken, kids. The Israelite elders are like, crap, well, he did say something else. Uh, Pakod, you've code, something like that. Sarah leaps up. Guys, you gotta stop burying the lead like Yosef in the Nile. He knows the passcode that only I know. Holy shit, it's really him. Because of her authority and the password she had learned as a girl, the Israelites believed that Moses and Aaron were there to deliver them from Egypt. And after those long years of agonized waiting, of watching, of being a living, breathing password manager, Sarah Bat Asher was going with them.